You a fighter? I've got a lot of training. I'm a retired Marine. Okay. Any large amounts of United States currency in the vehicle? Okay. So there's over 10,000 in there? Would you give me permission to search your vehicle today? Positive alert. So how much is in there? About 100,000. That's my life savings. I've been saving since for the last 20 years. What we're going to do, I believe there's drug currency. It's dog alerted to it. Drug proceeds? Yeah. I just need names because... いや、2月19日、ネバダ州リノ、ネバダハイウェイパトロール隊が車間距離を詰め走行する車両を発見。安全運転欠陥だということもあり、停車をかけ、注意を促すことにした。運転手は引退した元海兵でカリフォルニア
to a traffic stop, are you busy on that other stuff on no, Uh So far, I'm still searching a car, but a uh, big bundle of money says probably at least 100000 Okay, we just let me know ASAP? Thanks. Alright, bye.容疑者、スティーブン・ラダは2016年に16年間勤めた海軍を引退し、コロナの打撃を受けたため、一時的に両親が住むテキサスに戻っているということだった。離婚した元妻と二人の娘が住むカリフォルニアの町、ポルトー
if you don't want to answer them, that's up to you. You don't have to answer them, right? Um, that's completely up to you. I do need to let you know that you are not under arrest, okay? You don't have to talk to me. You don't have to answer any of this. It's, it's completely voluntary. Does that make sense? Okay. okay. I appreciate that. I'll try and do this as quick as possible so we can get you on down the road and get you to your daughters, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. So where are you traveling from and traveling to? Traveling from Lubbock, Texas, traveling to Portola, California. And how many items of luggage do you have? One big bag, one suitcase, and one backpack. And you packed all those yourself? Uh, I know a lot of these are silly because we, we're already doing this, but any weapons, uh, drugs, contraband, prohibited items? No weapons. I don't do drugs, nor do I have them, nor do I condone them. Prohibited airport items? Yes, sir. All right. And a large amount of U.S. currency, yes. Yes. Can you say how much is that? Uh, it's about 100000 It's my life savings. Okay. <laughs> And purpose of your trip? Spend the weekend with my daughters. Within the last five years, how many times have you traveled to this area? I couldn't tell you numerous times. Okay. And then why are you why do you transport bulk currency? Sorry, sir. Why do you transport full currency like that? Well, there's nothing illegal about it. No. It's, uh, I keep it on my person and I secure it. Okay. I have my eyes on it. Okay. I don't trust banks. That's okay. why I have a large amount of currency there with all the receipts which I keep in there for this type of purpose in case anybody questions it. And if those receipts get looked into, you'll see that those are my accounts that those, that those deposits are made for, all those withdrawals are made for. Not trusting banks. Yes. Don't blame you there at all. Yes, sir. Especially in this day and age. If you want to step out and hang around there. I did go something else with this, I believe, for the, uh, it wasn't just this for the reservation, it was something else. In the, uh, I'll double check. I don't... It might be in the problem. Okay. Where's the claimant from? So he says that he lived up in Portola. He's moving down to Texas. He's been in Texas with mom and dad for the last couple months. He's heading back up to Portola to visit his daughters for the weekend, and then he's going to head back down to Texas. Um, he says this has been like a life savings type thing for him and his daughters. Doesn't trust trust banks. He does have bank accounts with Bank of America and USAA. He says. But these are 2019, I mean, there's not a lot in there. It's got four different banks, four different bank accounts. The I don't trust banks doesn't make any sense. Yeah. He's currently unemployed. He just lost his job. He was an IT guy for the bank, I guess. But he doesn't trust banks. But he doesn't. Or no, not for the bank. I'm sorry, for the hospital. Oh. Yeah, yeah. What are your thoughts, dude? I, I'm kind of leaning more towards... Um, it, it's odd, but... It's odd, but it's not packed. It's like not normal. no, and, and he's answering the questions. There's there's receipts here, and, it, and I would like to put I would like to put um, the dog on the fence, you know. Okay. I mean everything everything lines as odd as it is, everything lines up. But the travel story and stuff like that, and I'm gonna get out my scale on the way there. The officer,全面的に捜査に協力した。しかし。警察側はあまりの大きな額の現金であるため、疑いの目を払拭することはできないようだった。麻薬券が容疑者の車を検査すると所持していた現金に対し警戒のポーズをとった。麻薬反応があるというサインだ。Positive alert. Um, if you 
very, very odd to carry 100K in cash like that. Yeah, but it's not it's not illegal. But you're, I, I can understand. It's not you. illegal, but I can explain, understand your perspective. Did they explain what we do? No, sir. Okay, we're an interdiction unit out here. We're out here looking for human traffickers. We're looking for people running guns. You know. Um, we're looking for basically criminals on the highway, you know, and, and so we have to meet, we meet a lot of nice people and then sometimes we come in and we meet So it's um, and I apologize this gentleman here. He uh -huh. explained that to me. So okay, I just cool. want to be up front with that. Oh, no, that's and and I, he, I'm in charge of the unit So then they called me so I came out and he's been everybody's been very professional. I didn't have anything to hide That's why I like to search my vehicle. Yeah, you know, so I mean that yeah. uh, It's not usual. I understand. And so we're looking for the unusual, sure. you know um, with the uh, currency and stuff, I mean, somebody ripped you off, or I mean, you look like you could take care of yourself in a fight, but you know, yeah, I don't, I wouldn't feel comfortable carrying around the cash. Well, I mean, I, yeah, I can see, I can understand where you're coming from. I mean, how long did it take you to accumulate that much? Oh God, um, I started saving since, started saving since I was in on the Marine Corps, 20 years. How come it's all hundreds? So I don't have to keep more. <laughs> oh. I mean, if I if those were all ones, my God, I'd have to, you know, so you get more. Yeah. We use the way I can. It's actually a cool trick. So one bill weighs one gram. Mm -hmm. So if you weigh that and get the grams, and you multiply it by 100, you can tell by weight roughly what it is. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. So you can watch you can, like weigh your money and watch it grow. Um, cool. There's something new every day. So how much is in there? About 100000 About 100000 That money has not been saved up over 20 years. It's newer bills. So they're not 20 year old bills. And okay. it's not 100000 Okay, well, I'm guessing. And so, that's my life savings. Okay. I've been saving since, so I went in the Marine Corps, which is in 2000. Okay. So that, I've been saving since, for the last 20 years. Roger. What we're going to do, I believe there's drug proceeds, dog alerted to it. Drug proceeds? Yeah, we, it's very common, sir. We get people that are trafficking marijuana, large quantities of marijuana from Northern California to all states east, even from Reno. Sir, I, I can tell you so, right now, there's... So, so we're, I'm going to tell you exactly what's going to happen, okay? We're going to seize it today, but that doesn't mean we're the final judgment on it. It's going to go through the DEA, okay? So the DEA will contact you. To fight it, you're gonna to have to provide your, your pay stubs, you're gonna to have to provide, provide your other receipts and stuff like that. Okay, and we'll give you all the information for contacting them as well. So, sir, if you take that money, I don't have any money for me and my kids this weekend. I don't have anything. You got a wallet on No, it's, I, my, my jacket's in the car. Okay, I don't have anything. You don't have a wallet? Where do you keep your identification? It's in my jacket. Okay. So. I'm telling you, God is my witness. I mean, I'm a retired Marine. I don't have any reason to do drugs or anything like that. That's my life savings right there for me and my daughter. I respect your service, sir. I serve as well, okay? Um, who you are doesn't influence whether or not we take action on what we see, okay? If it is legitimately earned income, you're going to be able to provide those pay stubs. And they'll, they'll, uh, they'll give you all your money back. But I believe it's drug proceeds. It's not drug proceeds, sir. I'm telling you right now, it's not. It's not drug proceeds. Is there any reason why a, a canine would alert on the currency by itself? I don't know, sir. That, I, that's, I don't do drugs. Okay. Yesterday, we got 159 plants. I don't do drugs, sir. You, you want to do a drug test today? Let's do a drug test. I, I'm okay with that. You know what a lot of drug traffickers use? I don't, I don't know anything about drug trafficking. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what you know, sir. But a lot of drug traffickers watch these people with absolutely no criminal history and can portray a, 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 a guy with a long drug history or drug trafficking history is not going to be the one transporting the currency or transporting the, uh, the drugs themselves. Here's the thing. That money in there is, my, like I said, that money is my life savings. I'd like to go through. You, you want to take it? Okay. I'm going to give me an attorney. I want to know exactly how much you're taking. I'll tell you what it weighed out as. I, I, would, I would like to go bill by bill. No, we're not going bill by bill. What you'll see is you'll see a seal it into a bag, okay, okay. into a bank bag. Can I take a picture of that? Yeah, um, I'd like to take a picture of it. Of the bank bag? I'd like to take a picture of it being sealed. Yeah, being sealed? Yes, sir. Or after the seal? We'll lay it right here and you can take a picture of it if you want. Yeah. I got no issue with that. Do you, do you mind if I take a video of it being sealed? 
I'd, I'd like to do that. I think, you know what, you're on video right now, and we give you the case number, and you can request that information. You can request the entire recording and the entire stop. Okay. Everything that we did, sir. Okay, yes, sir. that seal there. Do you want to photo that with your initials on it? It's all up to you. Did you sell you, Officer Brown? I mean, you taking money out of my kids' mouths. Sorry. Are you taking food out of my kids' mouths? Like I, like I said, we, we believe right now that this is drug proceeds, this is currency. Well, I'm going to prove to you that it's not. Perfect. And, uh, perfect. What I'd like to do is, uh, when, before, we, before we depart, I'd like to get all of your information. You will. You're going to get a receipt for all of this stuff. I'll have all the information that you need. I'd like to get your, 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 your information, your service information, it's all of your deputies. The stuff will be on the receipt and associated with the report. I just need names because, you know, I'm going to get an attorney, so. Absolutely, that's right. So, I'm Trooper Brown, that's Sergeant Rigdon. Uh, yeah. I'm going to write this down. So what's your name? Trooper Brown. Your badge number, sir? 250. And this is all I get here? That's what you get, yes, sir. You're gonna get noticed in the mail as well at that address, okay? So what do I need to do? I mean, I'm gonna contact an attorney. Absolutely, sure right? So you, what do I need to do? you can contact the Reno DEA. Uh, my sergeant gave you that information, told you who to contact over there. You're also gonna be- I'm gonna tell them, because they end up usually calling us. You can bring that to me to the DEA. They're the ones who容疑者の男は現金で所持していた貯金全額およそ8万7000ドル日本円にして1300万円を押収されることになったこの事件は警察による権力行使だとし大きくメディアで取り上げられたスティーブン・ララは取締りを行ったネバダハイウェイパト
86 with those rubber bands, so maybe 85, I don't know. But that's what my guess I know that the savings that I had when I had my map is mine, I knew exactly the thing. All right. More like 50. Oh, 